today is banded pulls that your shoulder will love. Now the reason why we're doing this, uh, showing you some stability moves, showing you some mobility moves, and showing you some movement coding. And why we refer to it as movement coding or movement integration is how you tie pieces together. Again, your body does not think about individualized stability, it does not think about individualized mobility. More or less what it does is it tries to encourage how to put all that together and to perform a task, a desire, whatever that might be. So that is the movement coding aspect or the movement integration. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a couple of different banded pulls. Now you do need a couple bands for these, so if you don't have these yet, uh, hopefully your gym will. If your gym doesn't, you can encourage them maybe to buy them, or of course there's always Amazon, right? Amazon has everything. So we are gonna be using two different bands here. The first band is just this loop band. Now we call this a pull because we're pulling apart. Fists come together and all you're gonna do is put tension into the band. Now this is very similar to like your standard external rotation, but now you can utilize these together, right? You can go one hold, one back and forth, one hold, one back and forth, both together, isometric hold, isometric hold with some movement. Okay, this is again, kind of a coding aspect here. We're trying to tie in stability of the rotator cuff with flexion, okay? So these are great for rotator cuff strength and shoulder health. Okay, they're also really good for just activations or warm up. Okay, that's a loop band pull. Now next we have these uh, uh, assisted bands. This is just tied into a rig. We're gonna be doing a couple different extra ones here. Uh, so the first one is gonna be just a standard pull, kind of like a row. Very simple to do. We always encourage soft knees and hips so you're in an athletic position that gets your torso involved a little bit more. These are just gonna be a standard pull. Now what's nice about this too, rather than just doing individual bands, is I can also pull apart. So as I come towards me, I'm not only pulling back, but I'm also pulling apart. Now we can come up higher. This is gonna be a face pull. Okay, anywhere between your chin or your forehead, that's gonna be our face pull. A little bit more challenging for the shoulder, we can add a little bit of external rotation now as we pull a little bit higher. Okay, that's gonna be a banded face pull. Now last, this is kind of like a straight arm lat pull down. So we're gonna pull this band up a little bit higher. Same thing here. Now because it's higher, I'm gonna pull straight down and keep a broad chest. You don't wanna collapse in here and pull up. We wanna try to keep that broad chest as I come across. Again, that's why this is somewhat beneficial because as you're pulling down and you pull across, it's gonna help get a little bit more tension in the lats and definitely that shoulder blade because that's gonna want you to pull up into that position. Again, with any of these, you can do sets and reps. You can also do more like an isolated hold. Now, again, these banded movements in and of themselves can be very good for mobilizing and trying to encourage range of motion that you don't have, i.e. like something like this. Definitely works on the stability aspect and then just doing these together because of the way our body is designed, pulling is just really good for just carry over to a lot of different uh, tasks or things that you'll do throughout the day. So this in and of itself, is not a specific like movement coding thing, but by doing these, you find that you can generate more leverage in everyday life, whether that's picking someone up off the ground, picking up bags, doing yard work, whatever that might be, pulling is definitely gonna help keep those shoulders nice and healthy.